August 11, 2025. The world holds its breath. The air is thick, silent. No birds, no insects. A deep menacing rumble vibrates from the ground. The sky churns with dark twisting clouds. A monster is being born. On the horizon a gray funnel descends, stretching and widening, a ghostly finger probing the earth. The roar grows deafening, raw power unleashed. The funnel touches down, kicking up dust and debris, it's now a tornado. Trees snap, debris swirls and the tornado carves a path of destruction. What is this phenomenon? A tornado is a violently rotating column of air connecting the ground to a storm cloud. Imagine a giant spinning straw, not sipping but tearing through everything in its path. Some tornadoes spin at over 300 miles per hour, nature's most extreme weather. It's science in motion and it's spectacular. But how does such a force even begin? It all starts with a supercell thunderstorm. Warm, moist air near the ground meets cooler, drier air above. Instability is born. Powerful updrafts fuel the storm, while wind shear, winds blowing at different speeds and directions, creates a rolling tube of air. The updraft tilts this tube upright, forming a vertical spinning column called a mesocyclone. Not all mesocyclones make tornadoes, but every major tornado starts here. As the column tightens and stretches downward, it spins faster, like an ice skater pulling in their arms. When this spinning column touches the ground, a tornado is born. It's a perfect storm of physics, instability, wind shear, and updrafts. The result? One of nature's most powerful displays. That's the science behind the swirl. But where do these monsters strike most often? Tornado Alley, the central U.S., is Tornado Central. Here, warm gulf air collides with cool, dry air from the Rockies and Canada. The flat plains let these air masses meet undisturbed, creating perfect storm conditions. Spring and early summer bring the most action, drawing storm chasers and scientists. Tornadoes can be invisible if they don't pick up debris. Sometimes you won't see them until it's too late. Some survivors even report strange smells, like sulfur, near tornadoes. Dixie Alley in the southeast is another hotspot, with dangerous rain-wrapped tornadoes that often strike at night. Globally, places like Argentina, Australia, and Bangladesh have their own tornado-prone regions. Geography and climate set the stage for these violent storms. But when a tornado is coming, what should you do? Let's talk survival. When a tornado approaches, seek shelter immediately. The safest place is an underground storm cellar or a tornado-safe room. If that's not possible, go to a basement or the lowest level of a sturdy building. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Interior rooms are best. Stay away from windows and outside walls. Flying debris is the biggest danger. Crouch low, cover your head and neck, and use a helmet if you have one. If you're outside or in a vehicle, don't try to outrun the tornado. Abandon your car for a sturdy building or lie flat in a ditch if there's no shelter. Never hide under an overpass. Winds are stronger there. Understanding tornadoes replaces fear with respect and preparation. Stay alert, have a plan, and act fast. Science helps us survive the storm. Stay safe, stay curious, and be ready.